Thank you. Hey everyone, it is July 11th, 2014, and I am stepping out into Key, New Hampshire. Careful not to step in a puddle. And there's a city council meeting that's going to be happening today. It's a special hearing. Uh, it's a Wednesday. Typically, city council meetings happen on Thursday. This is a committee but hearing. this is a committee hearing. Thank you, Daryl. So they're going to be talking about whether or not the city should ban chalk. I'm not joking. I'm talking about sidewalk chalk, you know, like the kind children use to draw hopscotch. Well, in Keene, New Hampshire, they think that freedoms have gone too far. They need to restrict the freedom to chalk, and so some people are for that. Some people like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hello. I'm Derek. What's your name? Welcome to City Hall. Hi. So, this is interesting. This is what's happening around me. There's a man who's poorly dressed who wants to film me and not speak. That's fine with me. <laughs> oh look, there's, there's some more filming going on. This is one of the uh, men who was standing with a gun in the gazebo. He's an aggressor. He likes to smile. I'm not the one that has a gun, just so you know. I didn't hear you. What was that? I'm not the one that had the gun, just so you know. Okay, if so you're gonna, if you're gonna report stuff correctly, I did not have a firearm on me. I appreciate that correction. I was under the impression that you had a gun because the man who was walking in the square, he uh, he showed his shirt. He sh lifted up his shirt to show that he was carrying a gun, and then he went to join this man and walked back into the square. So that's why I was under the assumption that you were an armed man because you were joining this you know what friend of yours. Does, right? When you what assume you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> point taken. So right, you can assume I have one and try to press charges and all this other stuff, and then when the cops show up and I don't have one, you just look like an ass. I didn't press charges. I was just reporting on a YouTube you video. To. Well, I, I wouldn't press charges against you for carrying a gun. That's a perfectly lawful activity. In fact, I, I think it's a great idea that people are armed to defend themselves. It's a good deterrent to crime. So I just feel like this is interesting. Look at how many cameras are on me right now. I must be the star of a show. In fact, you know, I've got a movie. It's called Victimless Crime Spree. You can check it out free online at victimlesscrimespree.com. So if you're enjoying the video here today, you can check out more videos like this one online. Is anyone interested in an interview? I'd really like I know. Let's take the camera. Who here opposes chalking? So why did you flip me off today in court? That wasn't very peaceful. One camera. Directly at the other it's not very peaceful to flip people off and forth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he flipped her off? I did not! The, the, funny, the funny thing is, why would I do such a horrible thing? I don't know, David. Well, that's not how I did it. flip people off. I don't support flipping people off. Well, you support this guy, and that's what he does. He also called me the B word, the C word, and a lesbian. I don't support name calling either. You might want to have a conversation with him about that. He can hear me say He's He's an adult. He's in charge of himself. You, you know, that's why you should talk to all your boys and stop saying, you know, racist thing. I, I don't show support your racist. I control your video. That's when, funny because that, that comes out of his mouth almost every time. Says, you might what are you talking about? Wait, are you accusing me of being a racist? I got a video of that guy over there, which you guys, you guys put on the internet. And he says, oh, this fucking Jew. Yeah, I, I have a problem with him. Uh, and and like he's one of your guys. And somebody that I know of has talked to him about it. He's not one of my guys. Uh, I don't have guys. Well, I'm an individual. Do you have guys? Like, oh, yeah, I got it's, plenty of boys. It's, okay. funny, well, that, it's funny that your church that supports all of these people, the second they do something, all of a sudden you don't know anything about them or you, they're not part of your group or something like that. To my knowledge, you throw your hands is not a church up, but you throw your, your hands up every chance you can, every time one of these guys does something. So, so, so like, well, this the Derek is actually a blogger at Free so okay. if you have a complaint with something that he's done, I'd love okay. to hear what that is. Yeah, you called me. You said that I was making racist comments earlier. Was it? so? Can you can you give an example? The N word. Excuse me. It would be you calling Terry the N word. Do you have any evidence that I have ever done anything like that? Try not editing your footage out, and you'd have it. Well, why don't you show me? Because video of Terry coming across the street. Were you even there that night? I was not there. Speeded up before that. Well, I wasn't even there that night. So you might want to check the tape. 
Are you sure about that? I'm positive I wasn't there. Because of course. The same way that every he was time wrong. I come to the common, you're there. I think in the same way that he was wrong about you carrying a gun, you were also wrong about him being there. Yeah, I, w I, was, I was kind enough to admit when I made a mistake. I think it'd be appropriate that you admit that you've made a mistake now. Was it one of the other cameramen? Was it, it must have been, because I wasn't there that evening. I think Garrett was there that evening, and then he would I never say anything racist. it wasn't you. It might have been one of your other cameramen. But okay, I, I accept that apology. I, I appreciate that. Thanks. Your church throwing out racial statements. No, my church would never say anything racist. Really? Can you show me what you're talking about? I want to show He's you right now. He's pulling it up right now. Who from the Shire Green Church? <laughs> well, well, you know, yeah, sure. What's your name? Um, Rod. Hi, Rod. Um, now, the political view of your house. Oh, how many people live in that house? Political view of my house. Right. I don't know what you're live, talking about. I mean, is there so more than seven? What are you talking the fire about? Codes, city I don't. Codes. I don't know what you're talking about. You how, how many, many people, people live at your house? What's the political like, philosophy of your house? Well, we, we need to know if you're obeying the laws here in Keene with how many people are in the house. Who's we? Another process involved, which is all basically. Well, I guess I guess we'll have to check into that. Society declaration, which is a statement of peace. So, what's the difference, racist or not? Well, so how do we know that you don't just make someone minister and then the second they say something, you pull it away? Well, each individual gets to decide who is a minister and who is not. There's no one who's in charge. I know that's a that's a that may be a difficult concept for people. I'm pretty sure in your bylaws that were just written off that the board of directors have to sign off on ministers. So you're welcome to visit the church website. It's all written. It's all written out there. If you're honestly, genuinely curious Hey, how are you doing today? Fine and dandy. I'm glad to see that you're out of the hospital and standing. I got my first cousin. Got my supporters here. My love for my family. Cool. Tell me about the shirt you're wearing. Uh, this is the Free Party Union's logo. This is the party that I'm the president of, of an off offset of the Occupy group. And um, what it is, we got the Golden Eagle, we called it, which soars high above the others because we are a bunch of people struggling at the 99%. And the 99% is people that are middle class, low class people, or that of homeless stature. And we're trying to represent them in a way for the community that we can help the community to support the community for the community. And basically that's what we were pegged for and attacked for. We're doing something for the community. Yeah, speaking of the attack, there are some people who are opposing the use of chalk in downtown Keene Central Square. Now, uh, Matthew, with whom I'm speaking now, was injured at one chalking event that he himself scheduled. He was chalking, totally peaceful activity, and then someone body checked him into a fountain, nearly died. And so that's why I'm saying I'm so glad that he's here today. And he's got his peaceful message of uh, chalk and freedom of expression. Anything else you want to add? Well, uh, my cousin here would like to say something, and I'll finish up after him. Well, the way I see it, there's no harm in chalking. There's no permanent era that which details or whatever and pretty much with even little kids even alone if they have chalk they'll start doing it there is no harm in that and that gathering together which brings people closer and actually brings respect towards a lot of other things that is up to come cool thank you The bathrooms in that house that maintain everybody in there? It's really none of your business. It's a private residence. I'm not going to ask you private questions about yourself. Right. I don't, I, I'd I appreciate just, it if you I would respect just, the same thing. I'm just curious about it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Rodney was continuing to ask some pretty invasive questions about a private residence. Which, out of the blue, it would just be totally weird to ask those kinds of questions to a complete stranger. I don't know this guy. He doesn't look like any friends of mine. And uh, he's asking about how many bathrooms are in my house. I'm, how absurd. In what planet does this make any sense? So here we are at City Hall. Let's see what happens inside. 